Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to Played Up for another tutorial video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to fully, that's right, fully automate making toast for the uh, breakfast dish. Now, there are a couple ways to go about this. Typically, when you start doing your auto toast, you could automate it from the hob to the prep station. And then you can incorporate things like portioners and then things like combiners to make the dough itself. So I'm going to go over the full setup that I have here. Now, the freezer isn't necessary, nor are two frozen preps aren't necessary. And the prep stations could even be regular prep stations, which I actually have one over there. They don't have to be frozen. Um, but if you have frozen ones, it obviously will cut down on the initial time it takes because it does have a bit of a process because you're actually cooking a loaf of bread on a safety hob, so it does take, take quite a bit of time. But without further ado, um, I have two safety hobs. I have a combiner, a portioner. I have a sink. Again, the freezer is optional. I have two frozen preps. Again, one would, would do the trick. You got your bag of flour, and then I have an assortment of conveyors. Now, the smart grabbers could be regular grabbers in this situation. They're just smart grabbers because that's what I had on hand as I was doing this run. This is an OT7 um, breakfast run. So this is what I've accumulated. But again, these could be regular grabbers. And you'll see why in a minute. So the first things first, the way I always like to do this is, is since I have two prep stations, I'm going to set up for two prep stations. So you have one here. And then, I mean, you could put the, you could put this here, doesn't matter. And you could have your other one over here. Now, I will preface it by saying, if you're using smart grabbers, make sure you go into practice mode, which is like kind of what we're in here, or, or excuse me, not practice mode. Um, we are in setup mode. If you go into practice mode to set your smart grabbers before the day starts. Again, if these are regular grabbers, then you don't have to do this part. So, we'll start at the back and work towards the front where the bread is being made. So you have your frozen preps. Now again, if you have one of these and two of these, you would just omit. Now you have to have a, something to cook this and you have to have a safety hob because if you don't have a safety hob and you have a regular hob or a danger hob, the, the, the bread will burn. Now, if you're serving that many customers that quickly, maybe you could get away with it. Uh, or if you have a combiner or a, a auto plate or pushing a plate onto this, but that's not what this setup is. This setup is a fully automate making the toast going into prep stations. So you have your safety hob, which will actually cook the toast. This is a smart grabber. Again, doesn't need to be a smart grabber. And then here we have our portioner. And the portioner could either pull straight from a freezer or a counter, this could be a regular counter as well. And and as I was saying, is like this is a very modular type automation. So if you have this part set up first, because typically you won't have all these materials at one time. Say you have this much, you have prep station, you have a safety hob, you have a portioner. This is all you really need. You can make your bread in your oven, which you always get in the beginning of the day or the beginning of the run. I got rid of my oven because I have this automated, but you could have it like this. You put your bread in the freezer or bread on a counter, and this would work just fine. But we want to push it one step further. So I like using the freezer, and I like using the freezer so much that I actually have it set up like this. And the reason why is so this way you could have a, always have a bread in your freezer, and you can always have another one on your grabber. So that way you actually have two. So as the dough is being made, especially if you're doing this part by hand, you have two full loaves ready to go. Same thing with having two prep stations. So anyway, we have our freezer set up here. And from the freezer, you have your grabber. Your grabber is going to be going from your sink like this you're having another grabber which is going to go here oh excuse me i'm missing i'm missing one little step it's actually like this because you have to have something to cook the bread cook the dough which would be like that you have this set up here and this is going to pull straight from the sink and you may say that's a little odd 
it is odd because but that's how the mechanic works and you have your your bread your your flour going into a actually it goes like this this is a bit of a weird bug because what the portioner is supposed to do is you're supposed to put something or excuse me the combiner um it's a bit wonky because the combiner is supposed to combine what is on it into something where there's nothing on it and but for doing bread it's set up this way because the grabber or excuse me the portioner kind of or the excuse me the combiner actually is a grabbing the water in a sense and applying it to the flour is a bit weird but this is basically it now you could set this up in any different fashion but let's run through a day the doors are very wonky in this restaurant, so excuse me because all the things are here. Let's do a practice mode, and I'll show you exactly how this works. So what's happening is the flour is coming through. It's interacting with the combiner that's pushing water into it, which makes your dough ball. And now here is where you're making your loaf of bread, which, as you can see, it takes a long time. So the way you would do this, the way you would properly do this is at the end of your day you'd want to make sure there's a full loaf in here and if that means manually taking out the loaf that's half used and putting in a fresh one from here that's fine so the loaf's going to go into here the portion is going to portion right from this again you could have a grabber in between these to give yourself a little bit extra space but it's not needed again the smart grabber is irrelevant this smart grabber is also irrelevant these could be regular grabbers as i just mentioned before it just so happens I have smart grabbers. So you program this one to taking finished bread, finished toast, and you have this one having the uh, drawing it from the freezer. And as you see, if we take some from this, take another one from this, take another one which you don't have space for, but I can put it there. You see, it works flawlessly. Once the system is backing up, I'm just gonna clean this. Because once the system is backing up. Depending on how fast you're serving, this should be able to keep up with it. Now, I have, um, I'm not sure how many customers I had. It was shown before practice mode. We can actually get out of practice mode. In this restaurant right now, I have 76 plus 10. Um, I will be able to keep up with two tables. I'm only running two tables in this restaurant, individual dining. So this setup keep can keep up with the consistent flow of 70 to 80 customers per day. If that gives you any indication. Now, if you're not having enough flow, you could tweak this a bit where you have a grabber coming off of this, going into another safety hob. Basically, you're, you, you would be duplicating what the setup is over here and you'd set it up this way. So say this didn't exist, you'd have this one going in like this, this one going like this, and then this one going like this. And I mean, somehow you would want to configure it that way because the, the portioner portions quite quickly um, compared to this. And I can actually demonstrate this a little bit because we have a partial loaf. Come on, please. Partial loaf in here is not ideal, but the gist is there. So to portion that one, one will go there, and one's going to go here. So you're actually cooking it twice as fast compared to just cooking one at a time. Again, that's just a, a another way you could set this up. But the, the, the automation that I've shown you here is how you fully automate a breakfast with some optional things. Freezers are optional. Double prep stations are optional. But... Bare minimum, you're going to need a prep station. You're going to need one, two, three, four, five grabbers. One prep, five grabbers, two safety hobs, a portioner, a combiner, a free sink. It has to be a regular sink or the starter sink. It can't be a basin or a power sink because you cannot draw water from them or a soaking sink or a dishwasher. And you need your flour. So it, it's, it's not a lot of materials. And as you see, I don't have a copy desk over here. It took me to overtime day six to gather, actually to overtime day five, to gather all these materials based on your RNG, based on your blueprint cabinets, your blueprint desks, et cetera, et cetera. But this is how you fully automate breakfast. 
It's pretty straightforward. This mechanic, again, this is as of 1.0.4, 49FD release um, version. As time goes on, this may be changed how this functions. So keep that in mind with any automation tutorial that you may see out there, whether they're from me or otherwise. As patches get released in the game, the functionality of some of these things may change. But as of recording this right now, 1.0.4, this is how you fully automate making toast for breakfast. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned for more Let's Play. Stay tuned for more learning the basics and more tutorials on automation such as this. Thank you guys for watching. Please comment, like, and subscribe. Find me on Twitch at The Ontario Gardener, as well as on Discord at The Ontario Gardener, and I will see you guys in the next automation video. Thanks for watching.